Top of the morning, Pula Spice Saints. I am Pula Mons, your inner voice magnified. It is Wednesday, the 28th of October, and I'm excited because this week I'm sharing with you the six upside down principles for success by yours truly that help me basically get off the ground with the Bulamon's brand. And I believe that, you know, I've grown so much in the, in just over a year that have been applying these principles and i'm hoping that they will also help you in your your beliefs maybe you have wrong beliefs about success but i'm here to let you know that some of these things that we believed about success and successful people were actually incorrect i mean for so long i believed a whole lot of things that actually were limiting me from achieving my own goals and dreams so these six upside down principles are meant to help you also see that there are different type of beliefs that successful people use in order to achieve the type of success that we see them living right so yesterday we were talking about the first principle of success and that was decide who you are like i said that encompasses everything else that you're wanting to do i mean the type of opportunities that you can get will come from knowing who you are secondly what we're going to talk about today is reality is overrated reality is overrated you know what i used to believe that the only reality was I can only be a success if I'm hired, I'm an employee for a big corporate company. And that was the only way I believed I could make money, I could succeed, I could have a, a prosperous career. And the minute I started realizing that Actually, reality is overrated. Reality depends on the type of exposure that one has. I stopped believing all the things that I used to believe. I mean, I stopped following things just because they are my beliefs, just because I believe that they, they were reality. That's the reality. I mean, how many times have you heard people saying to you, be real you've got a wife be real you've got kids you've got a family to take care of i mean you're old you can't be starting a career right now do you want to start a career with your own kids i mean what are you trying to do you're a mother get real i mean people will tell you how to be real and i am here to tell you what is reality after all what is the definition of reality? For me, reality depends on the type of exposure that one has. So who can tell you what reality is except for you? You know the kind of things that you've been exposed to. You know the kind of life that you're now exposed to. I mean, you might have had certain beliefs when you're still young in your small community, either in the rural areas or in that small town that you grew up in. But now you came into the big city with all the, the mindset that you had of a small town girl, of a small town boy. But now you're in this big city and you're starting to realize that opportunities are all over the place. I mean, when I was in Rustenburg, I didn't know that there would be things called influencers. Right now it's a career. It's a booming career. People are making money out of it. I didn't know that social media would be so big. I mean, back then it was mix it. I never used mix it. I don't even know how mix it works. And then I sort of followed along when there was B BBM, I think, by Blackberry. <laughs> you know, then, only then, I started using a little bit of BBM. But then Facebook and Instagram and all of that came and took over the world. I mean, now, 
our reality has completely changed. We know that social media can be used as a business tool, as a way to get exposure, and as a way to learn as well. I mean, there's so many lessons that you can learn on social media if you use it right. So we used to believe that social media is a space for you telling people about your life, socializing. But now it's a great business tool. I mean, when you want to know something about an employee, the first thing that we check is their social media. When we want to know a lot more about the people that we want to go into business with, the best place to check generally is social media because people are free. People are themselves when they're on social media. So our reality is based on the exposure level. I mean, I used to think that the best careers were being an accountant, being an engineer, or being a, a doctor. But then I got out into the world, the big city. I mean, as a small town girl from Rustenburg, those were my beliefs. That was my reality. But immediately when I got to Joburg, I found out there were so many things that people were doing. I mean, the ads were so big in Joburg. People are, are just doing it in Joburg. I mean, uh, people will tell you that they deal with a uh, foreign exchange. I don't know what they do there, but they do it. It's business. I mean, there's just so many, there's Bitcoins. There's just a lot. So what am I saying? I'm saying, be careful of limiting yourselves because of something called reality. Because sometimes you're taking advice from people who have not been exposed to the type of things that you are now being exposed to. So you're making them decide for you what reality is. When you pitch your idea to them, then they tell you, no, there's so many people who've tried that. It won't happen or they don't even know what you're talking about so they're not going to support you so reality is only what you make it and it depends on the amount of exposure that you have in life so decide for yourself who and what you want to be and go for it i tell you your reality will eventually uh, be be bigger than what you expected it to be what who you eventually become can be bigger than what you've always believed would be your reality you might be thinking you're only good for being a, a subordinate you can never be a manager i mean the strong characters in your team i'm telling you it is because of the limiting effect of that thing called um reality once you change your mind and you start seeing yourself as a manager your actions will start changing you the type of questions now you will ask in your department will start changing because the type of knowledge you'd want to grab is more knowledge that will help you in becoming this person now that you've set yourself out to be so do you know what Never let your dreams be delayed by this thing called reality. I mean, if you look at Patrice Motsipe and you let, look at yourself, what you, I say it's reality, it's not what is reality to him. I mean, what he thinks is possible, it's not what I think is possible. But the fact that the somebody who managed to reach those levels, it means I just need to understand his thought process, his belief system. Then maybe I can adopt it for myself so that I can achieve the kind of dreams that I've always wanted to, to achieve, but have always believed a person or a, a, a woman who grew up in a small town in Ruston but can never achieve such uh, heights in life. That is a reality that I might be having in my mind, but I'm telling you, the minute I started changing my beliefs, the minute I started realizing that reality is overrated, then my thought system started changing. My belief system started changing and I started 
allowing myself to go wild in terms of my imagination, thinking of the great things that can happen in my life, even though I still don't know how most of these things that are in my head are going to happen. But that's what the successful people say. Keep it in your mind, see it enough, and if you have action steps, do them every day. There is no way you will keep doing the right thing every day and not get the results. So I'm encouraging you, whatever it is that you want to achieve, I'm telling you, you can achieve. You are more than capable. Had it not been your journey, it wouldn't be your dream. The fact that you could picture it in your mind the fact that it is in your heart on a daily basis, to me, it means it's something that you need at least to tap into. Just test it out. You won't lose anything by testing it out, but you'll lose everything uh, by living in regret and thinking, had you checked it out, have you tapped into that 10 years ago, you would have been somewhere. I don't want you saying such things. I'm saying today, tap into that thing that bothers your heart, that you believe you, you want to do, but because your reality, your level of exposure is telling you that you cannot achieve. I'm saying change your mind, change your belief system, start believing that you can. The fact that is in your head, you can do it. Guys, reality really is overrated. I am Willemans, your inner peace and purpose coach.